Are you one of those Christians that's become a professional Christian? You do your duty. You become content. Where's the passion? Where's the longing? Where's the yearning? Where's that move of God that matters more than silver or gold? I'm a blessed man. God has blessed me mightily. But I can tell you, I am not a professional. I don't care how blessed I get. I can't trade out. I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather, and I don't know if you have to choose sometimes, but I do believe your heart, your heart has to be wholly committed to Jesus Christ, and then he can trust you. When's the last time God broke you loose? When's the last time your, your, your tears were streaming down your face? I don't care who you are because you were so overwhelmed at the fact that God is so good and so precious and so mighty that the world can't give it and the world can't take it away. Everybody give him a hand clap of praise and I'll... Notice that this young man was from Bethlehem, Judea. And he decided to journey or sojourney away from that in the opposite direction. He came from Bethlehem, Judea, a little tiny, little country bumpkin, little town in Israel. Those poor, ignorant People who worship God, they, they look at them, look at them. They don't have nothing. They don't know the big lights of Sodom and Gomorrah. They don't know all the world has to offer. Look at that little, little dinky place called Bethlehem, Judea. It's a picture of the church, and it's a picture of a generation of kids that have been raised in the church. And then they decide to so journey or journey down another path because I'm tired, of, I'm tired of that life. I don't want that life. And you've taken it for granted is the truth. I've, I've preached long enough to see this thing go full circle. I've seen people be in church, raised in church, leave, go out, go off to university, party, live it up. Always sin leaves you in shambles. Always sin leaves you broken. Always sin takes more than you want to give. Always it ends up so, so dark. And I've seen them come back home. And I've seen them and they're even in this room here today. And they can say, truly, I didn't really appreciate where I came from. I just want to preach that Bethlehem, Judea is still a wonderful place to be from. I'm so glad I was raised in church. I'm so glad that I came up in church. I'm so glad that I was taught little songs from my childhood, the B-I-B-L-E. I'm so glad my mom and my daddy raised me in church. We went to church on Sunday morning. We went to church on Sunday night. We went to church on Wednesday night. We went to prayer meeting. We went to this. We went choir practice. I didn't know how to play no musical instruments. I got in the choir. I had to learn musical instruments in church. Everything about my life, I am nothing but old church boy. I'm from Bethlehem, Judah, which means praise. And I'm telling you, if, if you've been raised that way and you're listening to me preach right now, you've been raised in this thing, you are ruined. Go on out, go to your university, let some godless professor tell you that the Bible's a lie and God isn't real and how ignorant those people are. But I want to proclaim Bethlehem, Judea is a blessing. If you've been raised by Christian parents, you got a granny who knows how to pray, it's not a curse, it's a blessing. Blessing. I don't believe, I believe this boy was saying, I can't wait to get 18. I can't wait to get out of this old dumb religious mess over here. Can't do this, can't do that. I'm going to go out, I'm going to do everything I want to do. Preaching better than y'all letting on. <laughs> it's still a good place. 
Ooh, I to, we all shout right there a minute. It's still in, 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 in times like these. I'm glad I got one stable thing in my life. If I can just get to the house of God, if I can bring all my mess and all my problems and all my burdens, and I can get in the presence of Jehovah, he wipes my tears away. He picks me back up. He says, you can do all things through me. Get up and try again. And you can walk out of this place saying, I am more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. Take a praise break wherever you are and give God some glory for Bethlehem, Judea, the church. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get notifications on new posts and live streams. Be sure to share this video with a friend. You never know how you can send the Word of God right when somebody needs to hear it. And you can use your social influence for good, for the glory of God. Thanks again. Share it with a friend. And I really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.